Hello, today we are going to learn how to design a spiral staircase which fits between two floors 2.4 meters apart and with steps of one meter in width. This is a standard width of a step for a spiral stairs staircase and 2.4 meters could be a typical height of floor or story in any house. You can adjust these measurements according to your specific needs. The process is very similar. So the first step is to draw a horizontal line on the bottom of the page or on the bottom of the screen as can be seen here. Now we are going to draw a perpendicular vertical line to this line. So now that we have set up our horizontal and vertical axis, we are setting our compass to the given radius one meter. We set our compass on O, the origin and draw a circle as can be seen here. So setting our compass on the left extremity of the horizontal diameter, we scribe a semicircle, cutting our previously drawn circle at two new points. And now we repeat this process from the other, on the right side of the horizontal diameter. Getting another two new points, and now from the top side, and finally from the bottom side. We number each division from 1 to 12, as can be seen here. Number 1 is going to be the first step of our spiral staircase, and so on until the final step 11. 0 is the ground floor, and 12 is the next floor. To finish the plan view, we have to draw four remaining diameters from 1 to 7 from 2 to 8, from 4 to 10, and from 5 to 11, as can be seen here. Each radius of these diameters represents a step of the spiral staircase. So now that we have drawn the plan view of our spiral staircase, we are ready to draw the elevation or side view. So we are going to start by drawing a horizontal line that represents the ground floor. Now, setting our compass to the height 2.4 meters, Obviously this drawing is to scale, 1 is to 20, for example, 1 centimeter on our plan is 20 centimeters in reality. We are going to transport this height onto the vertical axis to represent the next floor with another horizontal line, as can be seen here. Now we are going to draw perpendicular vertical lines from divisions 12, as can be seen here, and from division 6. So now we are going to divide the height AB into 12 equal parts using Thales theorem. We start by drawing a line from point A at any angle and we are going to mark 12 equal divisions with a ruler. In this video, we decided to use divisions of one centimeter, but it can be any measurement once they are equal. Now we are going to join the last division to the point B. As can be seen here. And from now on, we have to draw parallel lines to this line using all the divisions, as you can see here. Okay, another parallel line going through each division. So once we have divided the height into 12 equal parts, you have to draw horizontal lines passing through each new division, as can be seen here. Okay. So obviously we'll get 12 horizontal lines. So the next step, with our red line, we are going to draw perpendicular vertical lines passing through points 1 and 11 and elongating it, as can be seen here, between 2, 10 and elongating it, 4, 8 and elongating it, as shown here, and finally from 5 
through seven and elongating it. Now we are going to locate each step on the staircase by joining each point on the plan view to its corresponding step in the elevation view. So zero to zero prime represents the ground floor, which can be seen here with two red dots. And then one to one prime, which can be seen here. And two to two prime, three to three prime, four to four prime, five to five prime, seven to seven prime, eight to eight prime, nine to nine prime, 10 to 10 prime, and finally 11 to 11 prime, and 12 to 12 prime. So now that we have all the points for each step of the spiral staircase, the next step with a thicker black line, we are going to outline the steps of the spiral staircase as you can see here from the side view. Starting at zero prime, we draw a horizontal line until it touches the next vertical line. And then we rise up one step to point one. And now we continue this process, three to the next red line and rise up to four prime, four over to five, the red line five, rise up to five prime and over to six and rise up to six prime. And now we change direction over left, rise up, over one, rise up one, over one, rise up one to nine prime, over one and rise up one, and over one, rise up one. As you can see here, the broken lines represent hidden steps at the back of the spiral staircase until 12 prime. When you rise to the top, we continue by completing the horizontal lines which represent the risers of each step. The full lines are the risers we can see and the broken lines represent the hidden risers. So now on the screen, you can see a series of large red dots, which are located two risers below each prime point, as can be seen here. And now the next step is to join these red dots using a thicker black line, which form a cylindrical helix that will be the base of each step of the spiral staircase. You can do this freehand or with the help of a French curve ruler. So now to finish the drawing, aesthetically, we draw with a thicker line to these two vertical lines, which complete the sides of the staircase. And we also highlight the second floor with a thicker black line. So depending on the type of the spiral staircase you want to design, whether it's concrete or iron or wood or with open risers or with closed risers, uh, these drawings can help you with any of these designs. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Until the next video.